Hi, good afternoon. This is Mark NB8I. And uh, we're talking about the FT950, uh, which I just got. And uh, the uh, parts, uh, a number of things arrived today. Well, the radio arrived the other day. And uh, sitting down with it. And it's uh, kind of an amazing little piece of gear, man. It's got a great receive section. I mean, light years ahead of the 897. D, uh, which I have, and I, that that wasn't a slouch either. But man, this thing is so smooth and nice, and it just sounds good. Um, so the receive quality is what I was really shooting for. That was one of the primary concerns uh, about any new radio I got, and this definitely fits the bill so far. Very pleased. Um, the first thing that I'm trying to do with this is uh, hook up. Um, the Yezu radios have a serial port, a nine-pin serial port D sub. On the back of the radio, they don't have a USB connection to interface. That it basically acts as their cat port, and uh, that serial cable that's going down here is going to my uh, computer serial port. Um, what I found was my first biggest mistake was uh, what I'm trying to do is interface it with HRD, which is step one in this process. Uh, the reason I want to get this running is, is because the IF2000 adapter that goes in that radio came today, and also the LP pan device, uh, which acts as the pan adapter and uh, interfaces uh, with the SDR software. Um, to make a long story short, the, the reason I needed to get Ham Radio Deluxe up so rapidly was because uh, SDR talks to uh, HRD in a sense and then that feeds the cat cable to the radio so it basically goes uh, so I figured I'd get HRD up and running first and while I was doing this um, if you notice uh, I'm going to start turning this knob here everything turns all the buttons light up yada 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 uh, everything's great I'm very pleased so uh, it's working very smoothly uh, what I discovered though was is the first serial cable that I bought um, let's jump over here real quick uh, this is the Micro Center webpage. It's like uh, if you don't buy from Micro Center, it's you know, it's a pretty great, pretty great place. I'm really glad that we have one in town in Mayfield Heights, Ohio. Uh, but anyway, to make a long story short, um, the first cable that I bought was a QBS series serial null modem cable, which basically is a female to female connector, which is essentially what I thought I needed to go from the male connector there to the male connector that is on the computer. However, the deal with a null modem cable is, is that it's, uh, the Yezu radio requires a straight pin connector. And uh, this serial connector, which is basically a straight... Uh, 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 Alright, so to make a long story short, a null modem cable is not what is wanted, and it usually says it on the box. So a null modem cable can usually be identified, it's also known as a crossover cable. Uh, they commonly use these, it's a female and female end on both sides, so that's, that's female, that's female. And the reason they do that is, is that you just like a, a crossover uh, Ethernet connector, you can transfer data between BCs directly, uh, not what we want. Um, so what you do want is a straight through. Yeah, yeah I'm going to show you. It's a QVS serial mouse, if you notice that, straight through. Sorry, that's fuzzy. Uh, straight through and fully wired, which is fine. Uh, if you want to homebrew your own, uh, you can actually go online and look at what the pinouts are. There's a bunch of websites that have it. Um, but for this cost me like 14 bucks. Actually, it was on sale, so it was like 10 bucks. Worth my time. Uh, I can wire these up anyway. Uh, so it's got to be a straight through, and they're usually known as a serial mouse or monitor extension cable. Just an FYI. Um, so a couple of things that I've discovered so far. Um, and believe it or not, once I bought this serial cable, everything was golden, the extension. Um, I did try, um, shoot, where is that? All right, uh, oh, here it is. No, yes it is. What I did try to do was, some computers do not have serial ports. Now, Yezu uh, has recommended, though, that uh, the cat port is used for a multitude of things, data transfer, uh, controlling software like HRD, and also um, it's used for ser or software updates, uh, which is kind of critical. Now, what I did buy and I had a problem with was a, 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 a TrendNet uh, Ethernet to USB port. Um, 
serial cable, serial to USB cable, sorry. And uh, I had nothing but trouble with this. Uh, it kept dropping uh, the, uh, uh, um, it kept dropping uh, uh, the COM port, uh, and the, it would, the, the computer would freeze up, and a number of other problems, just computer related. It got a couple blue screens, and it probably has to do with the driver, to be thoroughly honest. That's my guess, anyway. Uh, your mileage may vary. But uh, this did not work for squat. However, uh, R uh, Yezu recommends an RT63 by RT uh, Systems. Uh, they build a, a great cable. And uh, there's a couple other guys out there that are building good cables. There's a guy in Britain, I think. I uh, can't remember what his call is. Uh, but if you just type in um, a Yezu 8950FT9, Yezu FT950 uh, serial cable. Um, uh, serial to USB. There's a, a couple of them that come up that are uh, like really nice homebrews, and uh, you know they supposedly work very well. This did not work. It sucked. Um, caused me nothing but grief. So, anyways, jacking in the serial cable was like bang, instant work, and uh, I enjoyed that. Another thing about setting up the, uh, the the ports is that if you go into the menu, let's bounce in here real quick, and I believe it is number twenty. So hang on one second here. And let's bounce over that really quick. It's under the general menu. I think it's, uh, there's three of them actually. All right. So uh, 26 general, G-E-N-E -E stands for general. Um, anyways, if you notice uh, the, the display there in indicates this is the baud rate. So in other words, we can, incre we can increase up to 384,000, the baud rate down to 4,800. Uh, we can also, let's bounce over to number 25, which is the timing, uh, the cat port timing, and also, uh, so cat port timing, which is 10 milliseconds currently, baud rate, and also um, 28, there we go. Uh, which is the RTS uh, uh, function for the cat port. And the RTS function, from what I understand from Yezu Tech Support again, is the idea that uh, it's uh, basically it's a, uh, it enables the radio to talk to the software. So in other words, that's always left on as it currently is. Um, when you set up HRD software, it's really simple actually. I'm going to shut this off really quick. So when we boot up HRD, there it goes. I'm using the current build, and uh, let's go new. And uh, when you get into the, this particular menu here, uh, always make sure that RTS is enabled. If you turn it off in the radio, it's got to be off in the radio. The speed is 4800. Uh, COM one is my serial port, and uh, after you get those all lined up. Uh, life is good, hit connect, and bang, it's up and running. And that's how fast it should be, I'm telling you. It's like, if it, if it stalls or putters at all, it's like, you know, it's like, it's 99% it, of these issues from what I'm seeing over the course of uh, uh, my short ham radio experience is usually operator error. Or in my case yesterday, the reason the serial cable wouldn't work is because it was that null modem cable. So uh, buying the new one, boom, worked like a charm. And uh, also, here's something really cool. Uh, let me pop this off. Yezu has come out with a software interface package for this uh, radio. And let me see if I can dig it up here. It's uh, this PPC, uh, the PPC 950. And uh, let's fire that up. And it basically looks like the radio. It's actually kind of cool in some ways. I wish I could use both of them. Uh, but you pick uh, your COM port and you know COM1 is already selected. Hit OK. And then all you have to do is integrate this uh, COM button here. Hit that and uh, the radio comes alive. And let's bounce out of here real quick. So 24... Uh, four, 20, I'm sorry. 24, 4, 26. 24, 4, 26. And uh, all the functions of the radio are on the front, which is really kind of nice. Anyways, so take care, and uh, I will talk to you later. So.
Remember, also, do not get the, the serial, mo the null modem cable, get the straight through cable, biggest thing. Back in a minute.